Hi everyone, I'm Michael Baldwin. I lead financial services product management for Google Cloud. With me today is my colleague Tom Shane, also a financial services product manager. Thanks for joining us. Tom and I both spend our days thinking about how we can help financial institutions transform their businesses with artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today, we'll be sharing with you an overview of some of the major areas where we see this transformation happening and how Google Cloud can help. We know that business transformation is top of mind for many of our financial services customers. However, these are challenging times with financial services institutions navigating the pandemic. Interest rates are at an all-time low. Customer expectations are changing with the shift to digital. For example, digital banking has increased from 63% in 2019 to 72% today. Regulatory requirements are evolving and compliance costs are increasing. Also, the financial services industry as a whole is facing new and creative types of fraud. For example, the dollar value of attempted fraudulent transactions grew 35% in April year over year. And finally, with the move to digital, disruption is accelerating. For instance, the pandemic drove a 72% increase in the use of fintech apps in Europe. Today, we'll cover three areas where we see AI helping to unlock business transformation in financial services. First, AI can help reimagine the customer experience to deliver things such as personalized digital banking, contact centers with AI-powered virtual agents, and smoother customer experiences for traditionally paper-intensive processes like lending. Second, financial institutions are looking for ways to use data and analytics to transform how they detect and manage risk. And finally, financial institutions ask us for a best-in-class AI platform that is flexible, secure, and compliant that empowers them to build their own AI-powered solutions to solve their most critical business problems. As we talk about through examples of AI-powered transformation in financial services, you'll see that AI isn't a science experiment. It's being used to solve real-world problems across banking, capital markets, insurance, and payments. The key thing for us is working with our custom customers to identify their top business problems, then figuring out how AI can be most helpful for them in solving for their key needs. And ultimately, our goal is to make it as easy as possible to deploy these solutions in real-world end-to-end workflows. Deloitte recently surveyed over 2,700 global IT and line of business executives to obtain a global view of how organizations are adopting, benefiting from, and managing AI technologies. And as you can see from this recent Deloitte survey, shown here on the slide, 81% of customers are reporting payback on their AI in less than two years. When AI is absorbed in this way, it can lead to true business transformation. So first, let's talk about how artificial intelligence can help transform the customer experience. Customer experience is obviously a broad area. Let's talk through a few examples of what this can mean. Many financial institutions today struggle to get a single view of the customer, sometimes known as customer 360. With the continued shift from physical branches to digital, financial institutions are looking for new ways to deliver high quality and helpful experiences across all of their customer touch points, lighting up omni-channel operations across web, mobile, contact centers, physical branches, and ATMs. When it comes to acquiring new customers, Financial institutions want to onboard in days, not weeks, and are looking to use AI-powered intelligence to help retain those customers. Finally, as customer 360 becomes a reality, we'll be able to enable AI-powered experiences to sell the right product to the right customer at the right time, and also drive other personalized insights to help with customer retention and new business acquisition. Our contact center AI solution is one example of how AI is helping reimagine the customer experience. First, let me share a quick overview of our, of our contact center AI solution. The goal of contact center AI is to deliver exceptional customer service and increase operational efficiency using artificial intelligence. It enables virtual agents to converse naturally with customers and expertly assist human agents on complex cases. It does this through a set of underlying powerful features. For example, dialogue flow, which automates basic chat and voice interactions, a feature called Agent Assist, which makes human agents more effective, and Insights, which unlocks insights about call drivers and customer service interactions. Customer support is particularly relevant in financial services as financial institutions have seen a 1,000% increase 
in call volume since the onset of the pandemic. Customers are calling in with questions like, are branches still open? Can I defer loan payments? Are you waiving any fees right now? And of course, security is paramount in financial services. So our teams are hard at work uh, making sure that we have bank level security built into this product. Next, I wanna share how we're working to make lending more operationally efficient and create smoother customer experiences. Our lending document AI alpha is built on top of our document AI technology. Document AI helps organizations unlock insights from their mountains of documents using artificial intelligence by turning unstructured data into structured data, which means you can now actually understand and utilize it. With mortgage rates low, there's a surge in mortgage applications. This solution provides a bundle of specialized models focused on specific document types used in lending. And with this solution, we're able to work with lenders to quickly onboard customers and speed up the processing of paper-intensive mortgage applications. Also, when the US Congress authorized the Paycheck Protection Program as part of the pandemic relief package, we made this same technology available to help with the processing of PPP loans. Next, let's talk about insurance. Dealing with a car accident can be a major headache for the automobile owner and a time-consuming process for the insurer. We worked with USAA, an insurer, and a Google partner, Mitchell, to build ML models that analyze images of cars that have been in accidents and make damaged parts estimates. This, in turn, can be converted into an estimate of costs needed to repair the car, saving appraisers time and leading to a smoother customer experience. Now I'm going to hand things over to Tom Shane, my colleague and fellow product manager for financial services, who will walk us through how AI is driving business transformation and risk management, and also will share an overview of how our AI platform is being used by developers and data scientists inside financial institutions to deliver on their top business priorities. Over to you, Tom. Thanks, Michael. When Google Cloud thinks about how we can help apply AI and ML to transform financial services in the risk management space, we typically think about four key things. First is mitigating risks across channels and digital experiences. As Michael said, financial institutions are increasingly looking to move to a digital first posture in the post-COVID environment. That provides great benefits from a customer experience perspective, but it does open up new vectors of risk and potential fraud. For example, rising scams in the retail banking segment. Second, moving to holistic and contextual analysis. By holistic, we mean extracting signals from traditional structured data sources, but also combining that with insights from unstructured data to form one holistic or customer 360 view. That allows financial services organizations to contextually analyze customers and events and detect true anomalies or risks that need to be reviewed from normal behavior for that customer or event. Third, thinking about how to dynamically and rapidly respond to changing risk types. For example, changing macroeconomic and market conditions or new fraud types in the post-COVID world. And finally, being able to offer that worry-free and seamless customer experience. Customers wanna know that the risk management systems that are operating in the background are keeping their accounts and assets safe, but they don't want those systems to inappropriately impact their customer experience. For example, a false positive alert on a fraud transaction. Next, I wanna talk about a customer who's working to help transform their risk management processes. HSBC is working with Google Cloud to leverage the latest in machine learning to dynamically assess potential financial crime risk and holistically look at customers. HSBC is bringing their extensive knowledge of combating financial crime, which combined with Google's expertise in developing ML solutions is already leading to encouraging results in this area. You may have heard from our CEO, Thomas Curry in keynote that Google Cloud is focused on building out digital transformation solutions powered by Google's AI. In risk management, we're focused on giving you a preview of two of those solutions today. The first is anti-money laundering, or AML, and the second is Know Your Customer, or KYC. We wanna talk about some of the challenges and opportunities in each of these areas. When our customers ask us about AML, they often talk about challenges around the current rule-based system, and that sophisticated bad actors can sometimes get around these systems leading to potential missed money laundering events and these systems often lead to many false positives. On the data side, we also hear challenges about poor data quality 
and the lack of that holistic or customer 360 view to inform their AML efforts. And finally, we hear that all of these false positives are creating heavy amounts of manual work, which is taking away from higher value opportunities. In terms of opportunities for innovation, Google Cloud can help extract insights from data and apply AI and ML technologies to better detect and prevent and identify those real money laundering events, and then help organizations operate more efficiently by reducing false positives, as well as providing more insights in the alert review process. Know Your Customer or KYC is another area that financial institutions often ask us about. We hear challenges such as manual processes around looking at documents and combining that with other information. We hear how this sometimes impacts the customer onboarding process, either delaying it or leading to excessive outreach to customers to collect information. And finally, we hear about challenges of integrating all of this information into banks' overall systems. We think there's three key opportunities to help improve this process. The first is helping in the automation part. By automation, we mean looking at all of the documents received in the KYC process and automatically extracting insights, entities, and information from these documents and putting them into downstream processes. We also think there's an opportunity to move to a rapid and digital onboarding process, especially important in the post-COVID environment. And finally, we think extracting insights from these documents can help better identify potential risk sooner, as well as inform financial services organizations' overall customer 360 efforts. Next, I want to turn to the capital market space and BNY Mellon, who's using machine learning to help predict treasury settlement failures. Now, the treasury market is one of the largest and most liquid in the world. However, 1% to 2% of transactions fail every day, which equates to about $70 billion. So BNY Mellon is leveraging Google Cloud to develop end-to-end -end pipelines to better predict when these settlements might fail. This has allowed BNY Mellon to get in front of these potential failures and help mitigate them before the daily cutoff. Outside of solutions in the customer experience and risk management space, we also know financial institutions want to build their own AI and ML models for a range of different use cases and business problems. So at Google Cloud, we're focused on building and deploying a flexible platform to allow financial services organizations to build out these models. And this is based on Google's learnings running large-scale ML systems. We believe that responsible AI equals successful AI. Now, when we at Google think about responsible AI, we typically think about four key pillars. The first is robustness, and that's making sure results stay robust over time. The second is ensuring that these systems are understandable. The third is considering the fairness implications of these systems. And the fourth is incorporating security by design to keep both the data and the assets secure throughout the entire model lifecycle. In terms of robustness, at Google, we've found that transitioning to end-to-end -end machine learning pipelines greatly helps in this way. We see that an ML system is much more than just a model. It's about consistently extracting and validating data, ensuring the data distributions don't shift over time. It's about applying the right features and the right model to the problem, training the model, evaluating the results, and ultimately deploying it to production. A common failure mode that we often hear from our customers is a great model that works well in development, but can't transition to production or doesn't replicate results in production. So we've introduced AI Platform Pipelines, which is coming soon to help with this problem. AI Platform Pipelines is integrated with other GCP native services, such as our data warehouse, BigQuery, and our AI serverless training platform. We know that financial institutions are also focused on making sure ML systems are understandable. We know that this is key in financial services for a couple key reasons. The first being that these systems often underpin high value business problems where the results need to be robust and they need to be understandable. Third, these systems often interact with humans, whether it's in a model governance approval process or in downstream processes, such as an analyst reviewing a fraud alert. And finally, we know these models need to meet regulatory obligations. So Google has built our explainable AI solution based on Google's experience understanding and interpreting ML systems. This solution provides feature attributions to say which attributes or features are most predictive of any given prediction. 
In this hypothetical example that you see in the lower right hand corner, you can see that the amount feature or attribute is most predictive of this particular prediction. Now, Google is also very committed to AI and ML fairness. We've released our AI principles, which govern applications in which Google applies its AI and ML technology. And we've also released a fairness toolkit. And I wanna highlight a couple components of it. First is the what if tool, which allows organizations to dynamically dissect their data and results. The second is fairness indicators, which allows organizations to provide categories and then slice different fairness performance metrics by those categories to evaluate differences across groups. And finally, I wanna talk about our responsible AI practices, which provide guidelines to organizations implementing these systems. Next, I wanna talk about security and how at Google Cloud, we're incorporating this by design in our AI platform and solutions. We know security is absolutely table stakes for financial services organization. So we're focused on a couple areas. The first is preventing data exfiltration with our VPC service controls and ensuring no external internet access. The second is providing choice. So customers can use their own encryption keys to encrypt and decrypt data. And customers can choose where data processing happens and where their data is stored in terms of data residency. And finally, always ensuring authorized and appropriate access to that data through fine grain identity and access management controls, as well as our access transparency logs. Finally, I wanna to turn to a customer who's using Google Cloud's AI and ML infrastructure. Two Sigma has moved some of their deep learning research to the cloud, in large part to leverage the latest in AI and ML infrastructure. They're using Google Cloud's tensor processing units or TPUs, which are purpose-built chips by Google for machine learning training and inference. And you can see when Two Sigma moved their TensorFlow workloads to TPUs, they saw a boost in productivity, which allows them to spend less time worrying about managing their AI and ML systems and more time crafting results. In summary, Google Cloud is focused on providing data-powered innovation in financial services. We're building out AI-powered solutions in customer experience and risk management for financial services organizations. And we're also focused on enabling a digital platform to allow financial services organizations to build and deploy their own AI and ML solutions in a way that meets their requirements. We look forward to meeting you and working with you to help transform the future of financial services. If you're interested in learning more, please follow the URL on this slide. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And again, we look forward to working with you.